Uh, hi, <clears throat> haven't made a video for a while. I uh, thought I'd just take the opportunity now. We're waiting two or three hours. There's supposed to be a mega storm, so I thought I'd take a picture, few pictures of the polytunnel, just in case we never see it again. Uh, I'm going to dedicate this video to uh, a little friend of ours that stayed with us in the summer, a little girl called Rachel. She came from over from Switzerland and she helped us just set this polytunnel up and I wanted to show her mainly these beetroot. Rachel dug and planted this plot and today I've picked some beetroot. Look at those babies, beautiful, really looking forward to eating them and the tops as well. Well I suppose we've had this polytunnel about uh, 10 weeks. We already had masses of food out of it, masses of tomatoes, masses of cucumbers, there's the remains of the cucumbers I've just taken up. Uh, I'm just briefly going to run through what we've got in here. It's all experimentation with me because I don't really know what I'm doing here. Um, I've never really been in this situation before. I can't believe I waited so long to get a polytunnel. So I'll quickly run through the crops I've got in here so far. Um, I'm really aware that with these uh, videos, you've got to be pretty on it because people lose interest very quickly. Uh, there in the top corner, I've got some Swedes that I've planted out. Uh, then we've got the beetroot. Uh, I've got some salad crops there. Then next to the salad crops, we've got some kale. I always call it Russian kale, but it's not Russian kale. It's something else. Can't um, remember what it is. Then, then we've got some carrots coming through. And this morning I planted some onion sets, some garlic, some broad beans, aquadose broad beans, and some autumn sown peas. And in this top corner, I've just cleared. We had... Um, these squash and pumpkin, amazing, look at that. And I've just cleared that and I'm going to plant some, uh, I've got 12 cauliflower plants that was given by my friend at the market, uh, Joa, and I'm gonna put them in there and see what happens to them. So, <clears throat> I'll try and keep you informed of how it all goes. Um, uh, it's a lot of work, I'm really keen. Uh, let's hope it doesn't all get blown away tonight. Thank you for listening.